Hi everybody, it's Nicole Rivera from Rivera Runs Through It and StoryDam.com. I'm going to assume that you guys have a stumble upon account right now and you're just wondering, what do I do next? And that's fine. Maybe it's just another one of those social media things that you've signed up for and you're saying, I just don't know where this fits. To me, Stumble Upon is the home of the information. It's our tour guide to the World Wide Web. If you want to go traveling somewhere, you need a guide. You don't want to just go out and go rambling all over the place. You might miss some of the great things that are out there. You might miss some of the little things that are out there. Stumble Upon opens our eyes to everything that's available to us in practically every interest that you can think of. So when you sign up for your Stumble Upon account, you're asked for what your interests are. And then they start recommending more interests to you. Once you've done that, that's fantastic. I want you to go down to the bottom of a Stumble Upon page, and it could be any page, and you're gonna see this little downloads option. I want you to click downloads and get yourself a stumble bar. Okay? I have a stumble bar and it looks like this. I got the one for Firefox. It's basically what you see right beneath the URL on my page here with the stumble, then the all, and then all these little buttons going on here. I want to take you through how this stumble bar helps me travel the internet and see all the sites there are to see. Okay? Again, it's also for Chrome. I've heard great things for the one on Chrome that it's also uh, very user friendly. I've never had any problems with the one on Firefox. So let's take a look at it. I'm here on the internet. I want to go for a tour. I want to see the sites. I've already told Stumble upon what my interests are. All I have to do now is click Stumble. So when I do that, Stumble upon looks at all my interests and says, okay, here we go. I, she likes stuff about technology about um, uh, the internet. I'm not even sure what this is about. It says file transfer made easy. So I probably put something about uh, newer technologies or that, that type of thing. Um, and this is why I'm seeing this site. Let's see, stumble again. I'll see something else. I definitely have comics, humor, um, things of that nature. I'm not gonna sit here and read this while you guys are waiting there. Although I'm tempted, <laughs> I'm going to press stumble again to see what comes up next. Um, I know my computer's thinking about it. But the, the fact of the matter is, right now, I want you to think about this particular tour while stumble upon is showing me everything that I'm interested in as that tour where you have been taken to Rome and you are just stopping at every little thing. You're looking at the stores, you're looking at the the ancient uh, ruins, you're talking to the people in the street, but anything that you might be interested in, you're stopping and looking. It's kind of like a free-for-all, okay? This is a great site for me also. Fantastic. So there is definitely a time and place when you're in the mood for this type of travel, where you're just like, show me what you got. I'm interested in anything. I'm curious today. I want to learn what's out there. But then there are days where you want to look at the internet for something specific. Now, I want to share this with the Story Dam community, which is a group of writers, so let's take a look at what the internet has to offer us as writers. Writing is definitely one of my interests, so next to the stumble button is this all with the arrow. And if you click on it, you can see everything that I put as a possible interest. And in media, one of those interests is writing. When I click that, I'm now telling Stumble Upon, all right, we had fun looking at everything, but right now I want you to show me what's out there for writing. And things have freaked out. So I have Victorian and Steampunk Name Generator. How cool is this? This is fantastic. Name generators are always great for writers. Press Stumble again. Again, I'm just seeing things that have to do with writing. Okay, I have a serious Vonnegut thing. So, this is definitely a site that I want to take a look at. What happens when you're traveling and you see something you really like? You pull out the camera. You pick up all of the little information that they have. Maybe you're going to come home and make a scrapbook later. I don't know. But whatever it is, you save some memento from something that you've seen that you really like. Stumble Upon allows us to do that on our internet travels as well. With our thumbs up, I like it. When you click this, you're doing two things at once. You're telling Stumble Upon, I like things like this, 
make sure you keep showing me things, which is probably why I get so many Vonnegut things when I go through writing. But also, if I hover over here, you'll see it says Add to Favorites. Back on your profile at StumbleUpon, you're going to start collecting everything that you gave a thumbs up to, which becomes essentially like your travel journal or your scrapbook from all of your travels of the internet. If you want to look at all of your travels on writing, you can do that. If you want to look at all of your travels, you see everything. So this is a hugely powerful button. You're also endorsing this site and saying, you know, Derek Silver, Siver, Sivers, great job. Love what you did here. Um, so you also want to think about this if you ever see somebody who's a friend of yours that's out there and you want to give them a thumbs up, it's definitely a cool thing to get. Um, the final thing that I want to show you before I take up your entire day yammering on about <laughs> some old fun is this info button. So you're traveling, I'm gonna click it and show you. And you're on a tour with a bunch of people and you're saying, wow, I really, really like this stuff. This is incredibly interesting to me. And everybody else that's there is kind of on the same page as you. You say to yourself, these are people I wanna to talk to. These are people I wanna ask, where else should I go? What other things should I see? Well, right when you press info, now I'm looking at the info for that Vonnegut page. I'm now seeing other stumblers who like that page. So as you can see, here's somebody I'm already following because I've already at some point determined that Ashley007 and I have similar interests and I wanna follow her and see the things that she likes because I'll like them. But there's even more people and I'm not following them yet. And maybe they have cool stuff for me to see. Maybe they've been to other places and maybe I'd like to see their scrapbooks. So very, very simply click on somebody. We'll give eBird03 some public notice here on my video. So Emma is her name. She has 905 likes. She has 99 followers. She likes this Vonnegut page. Maybe there's other stuff in her likes that I wanna see. Stumble Upon is gonna take me to her page show me all of that stuff and I'm gonna say you know this is cool so these are really the the power buttons I think on the toolbar here's Emma Emma's likes she's she likes stuff about space exploration power uh, beauty online games multimedia so she's crazy eclectic like I am this is probably somebody that I'm gonna end up following but you have a choice you can follow this person you can stumble through their likes. In other words, just tour everything that they've seen. Okay. Um, or you could just look at them individually. You could click on any one of these pages and look at the page and see what they saw and move on with your life. So I'm going to go ahead and follow her. I'll be follower number 100. That'll be exciting. If stumble upon will let me. Try that one more time. And one more time. There we go. Okay. So again, stumble upon your tour guide to your travels on the internet. This button right next to stumble is going to tell you what you're basically touring. Do you want to tour everything? Then you press all and you want to go on one of those scattered brain trips where you see everything that there is to see. Or do you want to focus on one of your um, interests in, in particular? Then just click one. And every time you press stumble, you'll be taken to a new site. To create your scrapbook, you're going to give it a thumbs up when you find something that you want to sort of collect. And you'll find all that stuff back on your profile. And to find other people who have similar interests as you, when you find a page that you like, click on the info, see who else stumbled it, and then check out their profile and see what's going on. Anytime you want to see your profile, you can just go back to it, again, through that info button also, uh, you can be taken back. And I believe that's up here under tools, maybe. You can see your, it's right, somewhere up here. You can get back to your profile, but I find a way around. This is my profile. Again, looks just like Emma's, has my likes. If you were visiting my profile, there would be a little do you want to follow button. And everything is sort of laid out for you here to see what types of things that I like. And then you can stumble your own likes. 
if you've been doing this for a while, like I have, and you have over 1,600 likes, you might want to just travel through all of the things that you've seen, kind of like looking back at your old photo albums and seeing all the stuff that you found. So that's pretty much it. Um, I highly recommend that stumble bar, and if you have any issues downloading it or any questions about it, uh, please feel free to ask me in the comments or find me here on StumbleUpon or email me, whatever it is. Um, I have no problem with that. Um, but have a good time. Go ahead and discover. Go ahead and explore. Travel the internet. But take a tour guide and you will see more than you have ever seen on the internet before. Because there is a lot of stuff out there that's hiding and waiting for us that we really just, we don't know. So let's stumble upon take you there. Okay, have fun with it guys. Happy travels.